Hi guys, this is Coach Tess. I would like to be the first one to greet you Happy Halloween. I'm here to give you tips of how to do workouts for um, holidays that are upcoming. We normally adopt the holidays and put it into our workout before the holidays is celebrated. However, in some cases, like this one, um, the 31st landed on a Thursday. So the team always make adjustment to do the morning practices and they keep the afternoon practices closed or they cancel that one just to reserve that for the fun and games for the kids. Now in Old Dominion Aquatic Club, uh, what we do is we divide some of our um, swimmers into um, groups. The team is quite big so we do have a lot of swimmers uh, in one group. Uh, when we do this, uh, we normally get some of our seniors to head the group together and they are given budgets um, to pay for their um, costumes and to whatever they wanted to use that budget for. If they wanted to use it for um, props, they can do that. And then we pick up a group and um, we place them if they win the um, the prize and we give it to them. Um, with the Old Dominion Aquatic Club, uh, they usually do it in the area um, where the Chesapeake sites are because it's it's a uh, wooden area so people can hide there. They could uh, create their own ideas. And so the seniors and their group together um, wear their own costumes and they make their own themes. And of course, um, the last time I remember it, it was uh, Boo was last year. Uh, they had, uh, what do you call this? Uh, it's one of those cartoons that they have. Some already have the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So pretty, pretty good ideas that they put in together. Um, anyway, to cut the story short, my daughters and her team actually won um, uh, the event. Uh, when During Christmas times, uh, the coach decided to make a mock mate and they also divide the groups into different countries. And what they do, they were also given some budgets to pay for their outfit and then they had the parade. It is the um, season's um, ends they do all of that stuff, including some of the little ones. And uh, the senior, again, is the ones that headed that event. And so when you do things like that, as far as workout is concerned, um, you could always implement those holidays into your workout. One of the things I've seen when I attended the American Swimming Coaches Association um, last September, they had uh, a workout there is called 12 days of Christmas and so each day they make a different workout until they reach uh, the day 12 and then they celebrate it and all of the workout has something to do with Christmas so those are pretty neat ideas um, they also have what they call the Thanksgiving the Halloween ones um, they got so much the President's Day uh, even the whole state of Virginia, when they do meet at Christmas time, uh, the kids are um, able to wear some of different hats, Santa Claus, Christmas hats, uh, Christmas socks, uh, Christmas jackets, and they do have parades. And so uh, the kids truly enjoy those. And this is one thing that you can encourage your kids to come to practice at all times. Be creative at all times. Um, I do a lot of fun st uh, stuff and with my kids. At the same token, they don't realize that the, the fun things that we do actually have them do some of the works that I wanted them to do. But they see it as a game. I don't see it as a game. I see it as a workout. But again, you have to have a lot of um, creativity, a lot of ideas in your pockets, and put them together with your workout. A little fun and games would not hurt them. Actually, they would be encouraged to come every single time at practice. And so do that. 
um, you could always get some of these ideas from other coaches. Um, they can share that to you. It's not going to hurt them. And, um, you know, uh, holidays is a good day to do a lot of things. And um, I hope that you can do that with your team. Um, I would also wanted to add that I am sponsoring an ASCA uh, coach that would attend them. Uh, if I pick up your name, I would be um, paying for your way to ASCA 1, ASCA 2, ASCA 3, and I believe they're coming up with ASCA 4. Um, try to register and try to talk to Coach Vince. Coach, Coach Vince is always the one that's promoting this uh, levels. Um, you you need to attend this. It's a great opportunity for you. These are great coaches that comes in here and these are hard coaches to get even in the United States. So if you have an opportunity to attend and listen to these great coaches, you should and your money's worth it. I can guarantee you it is worth it. Uh, and so don't forget to subscribe on my channel because I am picking up all of those names and then I will submit it to Coach Vance. Um, some of the other things that I do here for YouTube channel is describe some of our Finis product. And if you need to buy some of those, always go to finisph.com. Don't forget that. My next chat, my next um, YouTube it will be um, about uh, fins, and then if you want to request a few of the workouts that I do with the kids, I would be more than happy to share that with you. And also, don't forget, I'm having my workshop. Um, I believe in Elegant City. The uh, dates are tentative. I will be there in November 17, 16 through 17. I'll have one in Santa Rosa, but those are private. Um, workshop it will be sometime the following week which is the 23rd I just finished the ones um, in Bulacan and it was attended by almost 41 to 45 coaches and I hope you can join me when um, another uh, you know town another city invites me to go and do some of this workshop it will help you and um, what's good about it, it's free. So again, um, have a nice Halloween uh, day. Be careful out there when you do your trick or treating. Uh, be with your kids, um, escort them so that they'll be safe. Have a safe Halloween and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. Stay in the water.